Leads are like protein powder for your business. Without it, your business simply can't grow. In this video, I'll show you how to start capturing leads in Unbounce, coming up next. As an entrepreneur, you understand the importance of having customers in your business. You should also then realize that having a lead is the first step in that customer journey. So you can see the importance of getting this part right and turning as much of the traffic that's coming to your website or coming to your landing page into actual leads as possible. The more leads you have coming in, the more potential customers you have down the road. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a landing page with Unbounce and how to start capturing leads as quickly as possible. Before we jump in, if you don't already have Unbounce, I'll include a link in the description below that will take you to a special page that will get you a 14 day free trial and will get you a 20% off discount on a couple of different packages if you decide to go with Unbounce as your landing page solution. It's also important to note that in this video, I'm gonna focus on the lead capture portion. If you'd like to learn more about Unbounce and how Unbounce works, I'll also include links in the description below that takes you to a couple other videos I've created. And I'll include a card here that will take you to a video where I show you the interface of Unbounce and show you more on how the builder works. Okay, that being said, let's jump in. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is create a landing page. So this is my account logged into Unbounce. And uh, we'll go ahead and up in the upper right hand corner here, click on the create new button. And now you can see it pulled up a list of different web pages that we can create or landing pages we can create, I should say. Uh, basically, you can either start with a blank page, you can start with their Builder Basics template, or you can actually choose a um, template that already has some graphics and some text in it. So for the sake of this demonstration, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and choose one of these uh, templates that have already been created. Let's go ahead and just, we'll just pick this one and we'll click start. Now Unbounce makes it really easy to get started uh, doing lead generation capture. As you can see here, I just picked one of their predefined templates. Um, and what we need to do is just make some changes to this and uh, pretty much everything else is set up and ready to go. So um, we are not gonna go through the steps of making changes to these elements. I have another video on those specific steps. So we're not gonna change that here. But we, what we are gonna do is we're gonna go down here to this lead capture form and uh, take a look at this. So um, if you wanna make changes to this form, all you have to do is click on the form and on the right hand side, you have this edit form fields button and that will let you change uh, the different elements that are in the form. So for example, if you wanna collect more details than just the uh, information that's here, like you, if you wanna collect something like I don't know, their, their state of residence or something like that, you can add an additional field. Or if uh, you want to remove some fields that are already here, then you can go into this uh, edit form fields button and section and edit those. So I went ahead and clicked on that. You can see these fields here are already set up. Um, in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove company because I think we don't need that for our purposes. And I'm also, going to I'm going to also going to remove, excuse me, last name. So just deleting those two fields. So right now we just have first name and email address that's being collected. And uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and add another uh, field to this, which is a drop down menu. So we're going to click on drop down menu and click um, state. So if we want to collect the uh, state that the person is in, we'll just click that here. And it automatically puts this um, drop down box in the form that's already populated with all the states on the side. So that's a really great feature. Unbounce uh, makes this, this task a lot simpler than just creating a drop-down field and then having to put every field with every state in it. So this, uh, what could have been, what could have taken a few minutes to create, it just took a matter of seconds. So one other thing we're gonna do before we get out of this dialog box is we're gonna move these fields around. So I like first name at the top, but I want email at the bottom. So I'm just gonna go to this field that we just added and click the up arrow. And as you can see here, this reorganized the form fields boxes to the order that I want. So now that this is the way that I want it, let's go ahead and click done. And you can see here the form automatically changed on the page. So really easy, really simple to do, right? Now, if we wanna change the size of uh, these boxes, we can do that by simply clicking and dragging if we want to make this where these fields are a little bit closer together, all we have to do is go over here to the right hand side and choose spacing and we're gonna reduce that and that tightens it up a bit. So um, really quick, really easy to do. If we wanna change the font size, we can do that here as well. 
right? Again, really super, super simple. Um, we can also change the font type. We can make it bold. We can change the color, whatever you want, right? So this is where you make all of your changes is on the uh, right-hand side of, uh, of this form builder, actually of this landing page builder. Now, say we want to change this button down here. We don't want it to say download now. Maybe we want it to say uh, contact us, right? So all we'll do is we'll click on this. And again, on the right-hand side, here's the text. All we have to do is say, change this to contact us. And that's it. I mean, you can see as I made the changes over here on the right-hand side, it automatically made the changes on the button live. So um, anything that you do here will show up automatically here and immediately. So you can see if it's looking the way you want to or if you want to make changes, you have immediate feedback that um, it's either the way you want or that, that you'll need to change something later on. The other thing I've noticed here that now that we've shrunk this form down, this button is pretty far away from these fields. So I'm just gonna click and drag this back up and reposition it. That's it, that's all there is to it. All right, so uh, if we wanna make sure this looks good on the mobile view as well, let's just go ahead and click on the mobile view. And it might, actually, you know, it doesn't need any adjustments uh, except for this contact us button. So you can see here between desktop and mobile, you see how this button is spaced a little bit differently? That's because Unbounce lets you customize the page for mobile viewers. So if you have someone going to your web page that's on a mobile device, uh, obviously they, the screen size is different and they're not gonna be able to see everything the same way that they would on a web page. So Unbounce makes it easy to customize the landing page for mobile visitors. So all we'll have to do here now is move this button back up, get a little bit closer. I'm gonna shrink this box down too. And I'm gonna move this back up here. And there we go. So quick, easy customization for your lead capture page. Go back to desktop, you can see here, this looks the same, right? So we might wanna do the same thing. Let's tighten this up a little bit. And we'll move this bottom up a little bit. Okay, there you go. So that's the basics of creating a lead generation, a lead capture form. Okay, so now that we have the form changed to the way we want it, um, we might want to go ahead and make sure that we understand what happens after the person clicks the contact us button. So let's highlight the form itself. And going back to the right hand side, it says here that it's set to show form confirmation dialog. Now, um, that's not the only option you have. You have other options. If you click this down arrow next to it, you can either go to a different website. You could post the data to a different website. You could show an alert message, or you can open a different website in the light box. So basically that's just opening up a different website in front of this website. So we're just gonna leave it where it is right now as a show form confirmation dialog. And then we're gonna click this edit confirmation dialog to see what that looks like. So basically this is, this is the confirmation that someone would see as soon as they click that contact us button that we just created. Uh, this would pop up over the top of the uh, other landing page just as a confirmation message that their information has been submitted. So this looks a little bit, it's, it's a little bit plain. What we'll do here is we're just gonna go ahead and move this up to that point. And then we're gonna say, um, we'll be in touch. And kind of leave it at that. Now we could put some graphics here if we wanted. We can put some other um, elements on this page. We can add more text if we wanted to here. But uh, for this purpose, we're just gonna we're just gonna leave it as it is. Okay. So this is the confirmation dialog to get back to the page that we were editing. All we have to do is go to this page button that's on the left hand side. We'll click that, and then we are back to the uh, lead capture page that we've been editing. We also wanna make sure the uh, page is reporting the uh, conversion goal accurately, so that way it tracks stati statistics properly and lets us know how many people have actually signed up and put their information in uh, compared to how many people have seen the page but uh, just bypassed that section. Either they left or they didn't uh, feel the need to put that information in. So what we'll do here is we'll go ahead and click on this goals button on the upper right-hand side and this shows that our conversion goal is actually set to form submission. Now, um, so that means once someone clicks this contact us button and it submits the information to us, then this Unbounce is gonna record that as a conversion and it's going to display, display the statistics on that um, when you look at the summary page. The, uh, the other thing we can do here is you might, the other thing you might notice is you might have additional options here on the conversion goals. So for example, if you have 
Um, let's say we have a link here. Let me just go ahead and add just a, a link to this section here. Let's call it um, beans.com. Don't even know if that's a real website, it probably is. And uh, let's go ahead and highlight this and make it a link. So let's go over here to action. So let's go to URL and let's just say www.weeds.com, just as an example. And so now we have a link here as well, along with the form. So if we go back to the goals section, you'll see that we can also track a conversion as a link click as well. So if you don't want to have someone submit a form, if you're just creating a page and you want people to click on a link to go to a different page, you can certainly have that set here and have it set to track the link, or you can have it set to track either the form submission or the link, and then Unbounce will aggregate the, that information into the overall statistics of your page. So um, nice feature to have. And if I added more links here, more of these link options would show up as well. So it's really customizable and you can have it um, set to pretty much whatever you want. Okay, so now you might be wondering, well, that's all well and good. We, we have our form, we have our contact us button. Um, we know what people will see when they click the button, but where does the information go? So um, Unbounce actually has a couple of options here. One, they make it really easy um, to start generating leads and capturing that information, even if you don't have another email marketing platform. So um, when you create this page, when you create this form, um, Unbounce will automatically start collecting that data in the background. And uh, that way you can focus on getting a landing page up and running quickly and getting it tested. So that way you can uh, not have to worry about focusing on all the other details of, you know, integrating your email marketing solution or finding an email marketing solution and integrating that. All those things can come later. Um, they're really focused on getting you up and running as quickly as possible. So rest assured, as long as you put a form in a page, then uh, Unbounce will start collecting that data. Now that doesn't mean you can't integrate another marketing uh, automation software to this. You certainly can, and I recommend that you do. But uh, just to get off the ground and uh, start collecting information, you don't have to go through those steps. Okay, so this is ready as it is. Let's go ahead and save it. And let's go back to the overview. Okay, and this is the overview. This is um, a single page. We don't have any A-B tests going on right now. So we just have this first variant showing right here, which is absolutely fine. Uh, for your leads, uh, if you've captured any leads, let's just assume we've had uh, people come to the page and uh, we wanna see what information they've submitted. All we have to do is click on this leads tab and then any lead information would show up here. Okay, pretty simple. Um, if we wanted to integrate this page into another solution, like another um, email provider, right here you have uh, different options for MailChimp, Campaign Monitor, Aweber, um, I personally like to use Active Campaign, so um, I've integrated pages with Active Campaign before. Um, you can do that with um, with Unbounce. It's a little bit different than what you see here because there isn't a direct option for that, but it can be done. And um, you can also integrate with uh, Zapier if you like to do that, or Zapier. Actually, I think it's pronounced Zapier. Um, I hear a lot of people call it, call it Zapier, but I think it's the other way because their slogan is. Zapier makes you happier. So I think it's pronounced Zapier. So uh, for sure, if you have uh, Zapier, you can integrate Active Campaign uh, here with Zapier without going through additional steps and uh, in all these other platforms as well. So there's a lot of options here. It's pretty flexible, especially with uh, Zapier integration. You can um, pretty much do whatever you want. Uh, you can also include, um, they have an option here to include webhooks which that's a little bit more of an advanced option. You might have to uh, include a webhook in order to get your information flowing to uh, a different solution or a different provider. But uh, that's basically where you would go to integrate different uh, email capture or email marketing platforms. Okay, and there's only one final thing we have to do in order to start um, accepting traffic to this page. We just need to click this publish button and say publish now. And confirm the information here, which is fine. We fly through space for a few seconds while it's publishing this page in the background. Pretty neat feature. And that's it.
So the web page is live, ready to go. We're ready to send, start sending traffic to it and start seeing how it performs, start capturing leads and uh, start getting some clients and some customers. And just to be complete, here's a page that I created a while back that has some traffic to it. As you can see here, I've had 2,200 visitors, uh, 456 conversions and 20% conversion rate overall. Now this is the overall conversion rate uh, off of out of all the variants. The uh, page that I have running right now is at 26%, so it's a little bit higher than what it was, um, than what it has been overall. But uh, just to kind of show you what this looks like when you actually have traffic coming to it, um, you can see how these numbers change here. And uh, also let's go ahead and take a look at the leads page. So you can see what the built-in lead capture looks like. And on this, I'm just capturing an email address. So we just have this one um, field over here. Uh, along with some other information about when the person signed up and the date and time that they did that and what page variant was used when we got the sign up. Um, this information is usable. You can either copy and paste or copy the information from here or you can click this download CSV button and then you can open the information in either Excel or um, um, trying to think of the, the uh, Mac version. I think it's Sheets maybe. Um, no, actually that's Google Sheets. But anyway, you can download a CSV file and open it in your spreadsheet solution of choice and uh, get those leads out and do whatever you want with them. Also under integrations, you can see here that on this page, I have it integrated with Active Campaign, So it is possible to do that. Um, I don't know why it doesn't show up natively down here, but you can integrate these landing pages with Active Campaign. Okay, and that's about all there is to creating a lead capture page in Unbounce. Of course, there's a lot of other features that Unbounce offers and way more than I could cover here. Uh, don't forget, I have links in the description below to a couple other videos that I put together on Unbounce, as well as that link to get you a free 14-day trial if you want to try out Unbounce on your own. Hopefully you found this information helpful. Please leave me a comment below and let me know what you thought. And if there's anything else that you'd like to learn about, or if there's any other topics you'd like me to cover on digital marketing, just let me know. Either I'll answer your question directly, or I might even create another video on it. Also, if you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to The Cloud CEO, where our goal is to help you become a better digital marketer. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.